this video I am going to show you how to make shepherd's pie. Here are the ingredients you will need. Roasted garlic mashed potatoes, one can of sweet peas, one can of corn, one can of ground beef chuck, and some sharp cheddar cheese. One ingredient I forgot to mention was a half a yellow onion. I already have it diced up and I'm going to throw it in with a hamburger. The next thing you're going to want to do is brown your meat. With the onion. Okay, I'm browning the meat, and what else you want to do is you want to add a little bit of sugar to it to get a little bit of sweetness in there too, because it's a shepherd's pie and it has a little bit of sweetness to it. So I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of sugar that I got right here. You don't want to go crazy with it, just not too much, and that should be good. So I'm just going to brown this meat up and that's it for now. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is strain your meat once it, you got it browned up. So I'm going to take it over here and strain it. Me and my life, wife really love this recipe. It turns out delish every time. That's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Okay, next thing you want to do is add in your vegetables, and that's the corn and the sweet peas. Normally we use whole corn, not cream corn, but we're going to try it with cream corn this time because we are out of whole corn. It's still going to turn out delicious. So you just want to mix this all together. And you just want to simmer it for uh, about 10 minutes, about as long as it's going to take to make the mashed potatoes. So I'm just going to put this on low. And let this all sit. Put a lid on it. Put it on low. Okay, next you want to make, while you got this simmering right here, you want to make your mashed potatoes. I'm just going to go by the instructions on the back and make these potatoes. Okay, so the potatoes are done now, the mashed potatoes. So the next step is to take your, your beef uh, mixture and put it in a casserole pan. I'm going to pour that in here. You want to flatten this out. Let's flatten it out as best you can. Okay. Next thing you want to do is put the potatoes on top. You just want to make a little layer of potatoes right on top of your mixture here.
Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do, once you got all your potatoes nice layer on top, is just sprinkle a little cheese on top. last final step is to put it in the oven for about five or ten minutes just till the cheese melts you want to put your oven on broil so we're going to just put this in here set the oven to broil and about ten minutes it'll be done and this is what it looks like when it's done I hope you guys enjoy it I know we will